Hello? Hey. Hey. So, I heard you met a guy at Drew's bad house party? Oh, Sammy, that's not even the half of it. Bad is an understatement. It's like being out on a Saturday night at a bar that hasn't even popped yet. Ugh, I hate that. <laughs> so disappointing. Mm-hmm. What's his name? In time, Sammy. Anyways, Drew, he told me it was going to be huge and a blast, so I came early. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't go. Katie, you made it! And so early. I heard it was gonna be a rager. So I got here early to get a good party. Genius. Well, come on in, come on in. Hey, Drew, am I the only one here? Absolutely not. Huh. Christine is in the kitchen pregame. Oh, cool. What's that? It's for you. All right. Party time. Let's get this party started. Yeah. yeah. Anybody wanna take a shot? The party is just starting. Also, I'm a little bit hungry, you know? We have like chicken fingers or something in the in the fridge. Hey. Mm. OMG, Katie, you're here. Yeah. Here, drink this. Thank you, Christine. You're welcome. You sipped a shot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How many do you want? Two. Just get more. Two. Katie, she is on lucky number seven. No. Don't believe no. anything he says. You know what? You should have some food to soak up that alcohol. But yeah. I don't want to. I'm having fun. Well, go eat some chips. They're veggie flavored. <gasps> I love veggies. <gasps> to the chips. Is she gonna be okay? Um, yeah. I think she can eat chips on her own. Oh, this huh? is not what it looks like. I just slipped on a... What's your name? I'm Richard. Yeah, I slipped on a Richard. Well, why don't you slip off of him, Christine? Great party. Yeah. You got any other people coming? Of course, it's the light out. Oh, by the way, this is Katie. I don't think you two have met yet. Nice to meet you. Whoa! Ooh, okay, why don't you two go to the kitchen and I'll handle Chiposaurus. All right. Roar! Relax, Christine. Why do you have a chip on your shoulder? I don't have a chip on my shoulder. <gasps> Man, I would have left. <laughs> so, what are we drinking? Anything. All right. Cheers. Cheers. So, I thought I knew all of Drew's friends. Well, I haven't been around. I've been away on assignment. Really? What do you do? I'm a photographer. I used to do mostly self-portraits, but now I've moved on to more commercial endeavors. That's so cool. Thanks. Yeah, as a matter of fact, Drew has some of my old things here. Seriously? Can I see them? Um, oh, come on. If it's just gonna be, you know, us, we gotta make it interesting. Hey, Drew! Yeah. Hey, you two getting along? Yeah. For sure. Katie's awesome. Yeah. You know, she wants to see some of my things from my uh, self-portrait days. But, uh, Richard, uh, you told me never to show anybody to... There's just four of us here. Let's have some fun. <gasps> it's showtime! <laughs> All right. Let's go. Lady and lady, I am proud to present the stunning styling of Richard Pick. Woo! Hold on Whoa! one second. That's for your pleasure. Woo! Yeah! Uh, 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 uh. Give it up, ladies! Look at those moves! Who knew the power of baby powder? 
Uh, I don't know if you've ever been to a rodeo, but here he is, the Buck and Bronco, with the best Stetson in the West. <laughs> That zipper. Oh, oh, ladies, he's got something he wants to show you. Oh, oh, oh that's the boss. Hold up. His name is Dick Pig? Stop. I have to tell you this. What? So, I know this guy. In fact, a lot of girls I know have had run ins with him. <sighs> really? Yeah, he used to send self portraits of himself in bizarre outfits all the time. Like, to the point where it was harassment. I didn't get that vibe from him at all. I, I, look, he's a nice guy and fun. I'm just letting you know. Be careful. Did you give him your number? Yes. In fact, he's coming over right now. We're going out to lunch. Kitty, get out of this. No. Look, I gotta go out here knocking, okay? Fine. Bye. Do you want me to call for escape? Hey, Katie, you look great. Thank you. Nice place. Hey, thanks, Richard. Oh. Something wrong? God. No, no. It's just my friend. You know, she says she knows you. Oh. Well, I think I know what she said. I used to seek self-validation by sending self-portraits to people that I met. And, uh, so it's true? Yes, but that's not who I am anymore. Drew, he helped me. I got in a program, and now I only take professional photographs for commercials. I see. Yes. Those photos are in my past, and I don't want to be defined by them. But if you don't want to go to lunch with me anymore, I would understand. <sighs> ever judge someone by their past or fear being judged by yours well people can and do change given the right conditions and sometimes giving someone a second chance well is the very best choice choose wisely you were taller over the phone video series takes a closer look at the most difficult stage of dating the beginning from writing a compelling profile to being your greatest and highest self to getting that first phone conversation First date, second, third date, and beyond. It's not hard to meet someone. We just make it hard. If you like this story, please subscribe to our channel and be sure to click on that little bell so you're notified the next time we post a video so you can be one of the very first to watch it. And like and share with your friends and family and colleagues and maybe even comment below and share a little bit about your own experience about this particular subject matter. Thanks so much and I hope to see you again soon. Oh. Meanwhile, please do something loving for yourself today.